mystery of stuff. Most know there are significant differences in personality between dogs and cats. It's so distinct that you may be able to tell a lot about a person based on whether they're a dog person or a cat person. In fact, they can often seem like polar opposites. For example, dogs tend to be quite social, while many cats prefer to keep to themselves. Even the way that the two domesticated animals go to the bathroom is different, which is no small thing. So what happens when a tiny kitten is raised by a big dog? It's nothing short of adorable, of course. Rosie the kitten was just two weeks old when she was found alone in the streets of San Jose, Florida. A feral cat, she was depressed and weak. Luckily, though a Bowie, an experienced animal rescuer, took the teeny kitten in. Things weren't easy for Rosie, at least not in the beginning. She was almost completely unresponsive, and she wouldn't eat. When Rosie came our way, we tried to take care of her, Thoa said in an interview. Nothing we did was working. Everything changed, though, once a friendly husky named Lilo decided to help. It took some time, but soon enough, everything started to change for little Rosie, who had found a new mother figure. She started feeding after a couple hours of cuddling, Thoa explained. That was only the beginning, though. Now, over a year and a half later, Lilo and Rosie's amazing bond is stronger than ever. When they're sleeping at night in my sister's room, they can't be touching, said Thoa. It's hilarious. Most remarkably, Lilo's nature as a husky has deeply influenced the shaping of Rosie's personality. In fact, the more that she grows up to be an adult kitty, the more she starts to behave just like a dog herself. For example, Rosie noticed that Lilo would go outside for her bathroom breaks, so the cat started to do the same. She even wanted to go on walks with a leash. Though as other huskies, Miko and Infinity started to grow close to Rosie as well. She definitely has her cat-like features because she has other cats living in the house that are her friends as well, said Thoa. But I think she knows deep down that she was raised by a husky. And she takes on so many of those features. She thinks she's more a dog than anything. Lilo also mentors her. Thoa continued to explain about the relationship. She gives her a lot of courage. Lilo certainly seems like a wonderful dog, so it's no wonder that a special kitten like Rosie would want to grow up to be just like the kind, motherly friend who raised her, loved her, and continues to do so. This is really a fascinating case to consider when it comes to that age-old nature versus nurture question. Rosie's DNA may say otherwise, but she certainly seems to think she's a dog.